Well, Lexi, congratulations on the tennis season this year. And I know that it kind of ended not quite the way that you were hoping. You guys did lose in the first round of the playoffs. But you're saying the positive thing is you made it. And I know you're really looking forward to next year. But tell me a little bit about your season at number three singles. Um, I came in a little rough this year. Um, I was able to straighten it out. Um, and I was playing better by the end of it. Um, but hopefully next year we can come back and be a stronger team all together and win. Yeah, you guys had, what, only one senior? Yes, sir, one senior. So that means that most of our team will be the same. Sure. And everybody, from what I understand, everybody really improved this past year from the year before. So um, you guys are all going to play a lot during the, during the spring and during the summer to get ready for next season? Yes, sir. Hopefully, yeah. We hope to get together as a team and go out and practice together. Um, certain doubles teams we want to work on. Um, they, our doubles teams was great this year. They, um, I think, for the most part, were undefeated. Uh huh. Um, nice. And so that's really. Oh, you're right. I think they only lost one match yes, the whole so year. They right. Lost the, um, the round one for the regionals. So um, that was really nice to have a strong doubles team. And Absolutely. And we had a strong number one doubles team. Yeah. So. Do you think that? Uh, do you think that next year you guys are going to have a shot to really make a run? Uh, yes, sir, because we've seen um, this year we kind of went in blind with uh, in our region because we've never played any of the teams this year. Right. So we'll know what to expect ne next year, and we'll know our biggest challenge would be Indian Land. Right. And so we'll know what to expect with them and with clay courts because we have to play on clay courts there. Um, and then we'll know what to expect for round one for regions. Tell me what you like best about not just tennis, but playing tennis for Cannon High School. What's what's your favorite part? What's um, the most rewarding part of it? I love playing on a team and just being um, around friends and people that you can trust and play with. So. And y'all are real close, right? Got a really close uh, team. Yes, sir. Most of us are, are really close. Yeah. And uh, you have a very interesting, I don't know if hobby is the right word, but you are a uh, you're in the martial art of karate, right? Yes, sir. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I do it. Um, I've done it for about a year and a half now. Uh -huh. I'm a green belt, and so it's kind of like um, right in the middle of being from white to black. Yeah. Now, do you have any aspirations to be in the octagon one day doing the? Uh, no, sir. I do competitive, so uh, oh. we go do competitions. Yeah. Um, so, um, but hopefully. You know, our team in that will go far too. That's really neat, uh, and it's great for self-discipline and, and structure and all those kind of things, isn't yes, it? Sir. And karate and tennis kind of piggyback off each other, so oh, that's it's neat. really interesting how sports can go together. The karate kid. <laughs> Lexi, thanks so much. Uh, congratulations on a good year, and I know next year is going to be even better. And by the way, do you kind of expect to, uh, was one of those seniors at one or two singles this year? Uh, the our, senior that you guys had? Our one senior was at number two doubles. Oh, okay. okay. So um, the, the strong doubles team that we had this year, we won't have gotcha. next year. We'll have to fill in somebody for her. Gotcha. But hopefully we can find the right match. All right. Keep up the good work. Thank you.